Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome back to HackNet, where we are slowly picking apart the NTech network, even though it's inviable. So V, or Viper as I believe is his full handle, uh, wanted the password for this external contract relay server. Now I think I've got it. I haven't tested it, I'm gonna do that now, which I presume is gonna be admin and it's AX889MSJA. Yes, I've got it. All right, so yeah, I messed with the ports and it laughed at me because none of that works. We've got a, <laughs> it said in one of those notes I read in the last episode, they wanted to reduce the vulnerabilities in IT to be only human vulnerabilities. Unfortunately, those are the biggest vulnerabilities. <laughs> I still am getting in because someone leaves the password laying around. That's what happens. Okay, logs, nothing, bins, nothing, sys, nothing, contractors. Teja, git keep. This file is deliberately empty to ensure this folder remains active and git after contents are removed. Very nice, very nice touch there. Using, uh, having a GitHub file. Uh, bit heart.deck. Oh my gosh. Heart.deck. I'm taking it taking it i have no idea all right uh so we're gonna go back to the logs we're gonna remove all of that heart.deck okay so let's disconnect let's go check out heart.deck um now i'm not sure if i need this password also to decrypt or not yeah okay so let's try the same one AX889MSJA. Fingers crossed. Come on. Dang it. All right. Well, let's just send this password over to uh, V then. What the? Oh, huh. Um, there we go. Propagation. Okay. Uh, he. You can find a way into this relay work on next step after that. Okay, great. So I will send you the contractor relay password AX889MSJA. There you go, V. Vindication. Um, this is exactly what I was hoping for. The place has been stripped clean, but for one encrypted file in bits folder, as you've probably seen. But that file... I know how to open it. It's pa a password he told a few of us a long time ago that worked on a project with him. He sent us a message encrypted like this back then too. The password's Diving Sparrow. I've already read it. There's an email account I need to check out now too. I suggest you do the same. Download the file and decrypt it locally. Don't leave an open copy of that lying around. And contact me afterwards. It feels like we're reaching the truth and some action. Contact me once you've caught up and let's finish this. Oh yes, finish this! Finish him! Okay, so Diving Sparrow. Okay, so we gotta hop back over to to me here. And this is actually, I was just trying, this is what I was just trying. Diving Sparrow. All right. Bit, Bit, what has happened to you? It's working. It's working. This is like heart.deck. It's like Bit's heart to heart with those who are he's worked with and who are looking for him, right? Bitwise, last words. Oh man, source IP, there we go. All right, are we ready? Okay, here we go, everybody. I'm writing this in faith that I told you this password, that you're the person I hope you are, and because it's all I have to work with right now. Thank you for looking so far. It seems a lot to ask for that anyone will read this. But I guess I'm going doing a lot of that lately. To business then. If you are actually here, then well, that's already my worst case, and I have some hard requests to make. You must have run into the files on what Entech's up to, and I hope you feel the way I do about it. You've seen how good Entech is already, incredibly so, and once it's polished up, I wonder how much of the freedom we have now will slip away. This is maybe actually fine. I'm fine with that. And on a lot of levels, I respect them trying to fix security and want it to work, even if it cripples what I'm best at. But not like this. 
not like this. The Hacknet project is the problem. It's great to make, a good, make good security. It's even kind of okay to hold a lot of control over it and its usage. But breaking everything except what you've made isn't. Before I knew it, I'd contributed too much to Hacknet. It was an incredible project, fun and challenging, and they just threw resources at it endlessly. Amazing to work on. And I made something incredible. It's called Port Hack. Basically, a sum of my knowledge and skill. It opens doors just about anywhere. I got curious after a while and broke into the mainframe and put it all together. Maybe the first complete build that had been done of the project with a complete port hack wired in. It's not so hard to see what happens from here. They complete this, Hacknet gets out somehow. The world's in total chaos and our one chance to stop digital security from falling into this insane monopoly slips away. What we have isn't perfect, and Entech security is good, but Hacknet ruins everything. And if we don't stop it now, it might be too late to stop it ever. The CEO's email account tells the rest. Ooh, user R seat Entech, pass by C89K MME. Please, bit, and zero. Oh, is that because he's dead? Oh, <laughs> bit off. That's kind of sad. All right, that's exactly what I had said when I was reading about it. It's basically like, like I said, they're building this awesome security suite, which is good for them. They're obviously going to be a monopol monopolize this access to it, and thanks to like software patents and crap, that's going to be terrible. Um, but the 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 insidious part is exactly what he said that they're releasing a massive zero day exploit to absolutely everything else with no proposed solution. It's just straight up going, everything else doesn't work now. Every computer in the world doesn't work anymore, unless you buy our software. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna write this sucker down to, let's see, where's my emails go? Here we go. Uh, so RCBYC89. K M M E. God, my handwriting is atrocious. Um, okay, cool. So I already had that. No problem. Entech mail server. RC. Password is BYC89 K M M E. Um. Okay, so I feel like this is top to bottom. Uh, okay. New case, bit. A former employee has gone rogue and is threatening the project. Unlike most, I'm actually concerned that he knows what he's doing and could be a real problem. As much as I hate being so crude about it, this project is too important to me and to the world to put it at risk over something like this. Can you discourage him? Details are attached. Call him bit. Understood. I'll take care of it. Um, good to have you on board. What exactly are your plans this time? He's important and well-informed. I put out the order. Expensive, but he will be dead within the week. Charge to your account as per normal. Wow. Dead? What the hell are you talking about? I wanted you to smash up his computers and arrest the guy, not fucking kill him. Call this off right now. This has gone far enough. I'll deal with it myself. The man's a genius, even if he's against the project I want him around. Find a way to stop it, for God's sake. If you're serious about this, I'm holding you personally responsible. Don't fuck with me here. It's too late. Can't stop it. It's anonymous. You need to be clear about wording if you want specific action taken. He seemed pretty clear to me. Uh, uh, can you discourage him? That's... <laughs> uh, all right. Something's come up. I need access to the mainframe and have to have a look around. I'll be investigating recent accesses and builds, so I need admin. Ah, sure thing. User admin pass. All right, excuse me. Uh, I don't know what mainframe means. Mainframe. User. Uh, let's just admin. So it's V19332. H Q9. Okay. 
I'll kill the auto pass rotation till you're done. Ben. Oh, Ben. Hey. I wish I had a job that good. All right. New case bit. It's not too fucking late if he's not dead yet. Call this off right now. I'm revoking payment. This isn't what I hired you for, for fuck's sake. Personal value to the project aside, I'm not going to be a goddamn accessory to murder because of your stupid misunderstanding. The target is deceased. Payment will proceed as promised, or my employees may take issue with their client. Uh, okay. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. What have you done? This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted, you fucking psychopath. Jesus Christ. Payment has been received, and our business is concluded. All right. So, some sociopath. Oh, B. Carter at Entech. Ben Carter. Hello, Ben Carter. Okay. So, I'm caught up. I've got this mainframe password. And I think... Contact me once you've caught up. Let's finish this. Um, I want Zeus. I think that's the mainframe. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit reply. Well, no, no, I, I've never skipped out on that before. Zeus, okay, so if I say admin and V19328HQ9, Thank you. Welp. Okay. So, I assume, I mean, they give me the password to it. I should poke around in it, right? Home, nothing. Bin, nothing. Sis, nothing unusual. Repo, hacknet. Hacknet.sln, hacknet runtime. Hacknet netcore.dll, hacknet source.src, contact.xnb. All right. These are all going to be binaries, aren't they? Oh, the source. Oh, even the source. Fine. All right. Fine. Log. All right. What are we doing, V? Reply. Termination. You've read it, too. You know what this means. At the very least, I'm starting with doing whatever I can to finish what bit started, if this is how it ended. While you found a way into the contractor server, I was digging around for their backups. They store them offline, but the server auto connects to the net at set intervals to pull updates down from production servers so they stay up to date. With some clever patch pushing, I think I can get it up. Getting you a connection isn't simple, but I have a plan. I've re-rigged one of my old sequencing programs to time it all for you. It's something I use to coordinate takedowns and the like when working with friends. There's an uploaded copy on the CSEC asset server called Sequencer. We'll run it when you're ready. It'll signal me to bring the backup server up and pipe a connection through to you. You won't have long, but it should be enough. While I keep it online, get to their backup and wipe out everything with the word hacknet in it. I'll keep it up, and while you're there, I'll wipe the mainframe. If Bit wants it gone, this is the best we can do. Fight. Win. V. Okay. I have to run the sequencer, huh? All right, let's close the stupid notes program, get that memory back. If I have to run the sequencer... Uh, I should hopefully still have enough memory to run the uh, trace kill. Okay, um, I have the sequencer already. I know how to do that. Okay, so... And pipe a connection through to you. Okay, so this is this is it. This is the final boss. All right, we're... This, uh, this could be a long episode. I don't know how long this will take. It might be a short episode if this goes down real quick, which seems likely. All right, bit wants it gone. This is the best we can do. Ladies and gentlemen, whew, getting those fingers warmed up. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need any of these passwords. Let me adjust my keyboard. All right, all right. Uh, let's... Sequencer, all right. Activate, oh, that takes up so much memory. Okay. Oh man, it's like, it's even got boss music. I know you can't hear the music. Buy this game, play it. <laughs> uh, 
And take sequencer attack. Okay. Um, sh I need shells. Shell. 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 Okay, let's get back. Um, where? That's off. The, okay, yep. Um, probe. Let's go. Overload, overload, overload. Analyze. Analyze. Shit, that's long. Oh my god, six ports required for crack. Proxy bypassed, great. Boom, boom, boom. Get those out of there. Okay, solve. Oops, I caps locked it. E M M E T P L A C E. Are you kidding me? Okay, come on. FTP on 21, SQL on 1433, SSH on 22, ah, crud. Oh, this is not giving me much time, guys. <laughs> Web on 80, um, KB something on 104. There we go. SMTP on 25. <laughs> this little sequencer thing says go, go, go. I didn't even realize that. Crap, it doesn't fit because of that sequencer. I'm doing it, though. I'm doing it. Come on. That's it. Okay, we're getting in. We're getting in. Come on. Come on. Come on, open it up. Open it up. There we go. Okay, file system. Archive. Remove. Hacknet. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Remove. Hacknet. Oh my god, that's such a... How on earth? Alright, fine. We're just gonna do that. We're gonna... Oh. The music stopped. I don't know why. I have a little bit of time left. Hacknet. There we go. Remove everything there. Dude. Doot, logs, get my s crap. <laughs> it's still deleting them. It's deleting the logs. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I got, I definitely got. Uh... Yeah, I, <laughs> it seems like I got them deleted. Um, So what's going on here? Why am I, what's going on with all of the? Uh, yeah, this is all looking weird now. That was weird. So. You wiped the mainframe, right, man? File system, repo. Hacknet. No, it's all still there. What the heck happened? Um, so what happens? Let's remove those, I guess. Here, what if I sequencer again? If I do that again, I don't understand. It seems like I'm still connected or something is supposed to be happening. What's going on? All right, let's let's just get in again. All right, great. Oh, what? Cycling back. Okay, great. I yeah, I'm in. Hacknet. This is all gone. Miscellaneous. Um. 
Attack net. <laughs> I wish it could move like that. Bin, log, nothing. So I don't understand exactly what uh, I'm missing here. I could delete insect too. I can remove hacknet build tool. I can remove empty, 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 empty. All right. Remove hack net. Remove directory. Hack net. Yeah, it's not nothing. All right. Fine. Let's do that. And disconnect. Okay. That must be what I was missing, that it disconnected me instead of me disconnecting from it. It's, I don't know what's going on. It's still behaving really weird. Like here, if I go into this guy now, uh, do you, Hackness still there on this one. He didn't, he didn't do this. Um, and also, why is my why do I have this weird CSEC um, X server? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I have that weird background. Well, let's see. Like, I'll keep it up, and while you're there, I'll up the mainframe. But once again, this is the best we can do. Fight win. All right. Bit completion. All right. And so it ends. As revenge, it's shallow to me. Just lashing out at what he was. Just lashing out at what he was. And all too late to help him at all. But this felt right. I guess I should be more used to it. No one will notice, huh? Not except the ones who will be in a rage over the loss. No one's going to be thanking us, no matter how much damage it might have caused otherwise. Such is the way of things, I guess. He helped a lot, and I'm grateful. There's only so much I can do with this veil of anonymity kept on. And after that, and after that, seems like a terrible time to shed it. <laughs> so I'll see you back at CSEC. There's always chaos there. I'll find a way to pay you back soon enough. Thanks. Really. V. Bit. Terminal. Okay. Bit. It's bit. Hey, I'm not sure if it's sensible to be writing this one first. If all's gone to plan, this should be basically the last you'll hear from me. Maybe the last anyone hears from me. But hey, this one's optimistic. If this ever gets sent to you, that's the best news I could hope for. So, thank you. I can, can't imagine it'll be easy. Will have been, will have been easy? This tense is going to take some getting used to. There's still one last thing I want to ask of you. Not that I haven't asked way too much already. Port hack's not quite a standalone thing. It was once, but... Well, you can probably understand now why this can't exist as something people can just pass around. Its core, heart, is the last piece left. It's built to be untamperable, but I've done what I can. It's built to be untamperable, but I've done what I can. Huh. This is my last request of far too many. Bit zero. Link porthack.heart. Over here. All right. All right, bit. So, okay, before we do this, log in, admin, complete, view file system, repo, hacknet. It's still there! <laughs> I thought you were going to delete this, V. Don't like this at all. All I did was delete the backups. I'm, I'm freaking deleting this. You can, you can screw you guys. Okay, come on. Man, those are big. Okay. You have to do your do your work for you there, V. You're welcome. I do have these super superior tools, so I guess I'll let it slide. All right. Porthack.heart. Huh. Probe. Hmm. Ports required for hack crack. Zero. All right, here we go. This might be the last time we port hack. Is it, 
Unknown error. Oh, terminal's locked. Okay, we're getting a, a port hack animation here. That's definitely recognizable to me. And... Whoa. Some noises. Oh, it's beautiful. Whoa. It's like four-dimensional or something. Okay. This was this is like this is like the ending sequence. It's almost got it. And it's gone. And what does that Yep, there we go. Ah. Well, at least I get this cool graphic or whatever. <laughs> and I presume that's the end. Hi. Ah. My name's Bit. Oh, Bit. If you're hearing this, I'm already dead. It also means port hack heart stopped and my scripts worked. Okay. Which means we're finished. Which means you've done it. Aw, thanks, man. Doing this now was our last chance, I think. While they're in a rush to finish it all, and not under the eyes of the whole world yet. So, yeah. thanks. You're thanks. welcome, Bit. If all's gone right, there's just one copy of Hacknet left to delete. No! And you're looking at it. No! Oh, but then I won't be a hacker anymore. I won't. I won't be able to hang out with the CSEC guys. Bet. Achievement unlocked. Hacknet. Ah, oh, well, that was a amazing game. That was. That was the most heart-pounding terminal emulator I've ever played with, <laughs> I have to say. Um, and I've said many times throughout many episodes, the music is really fantastic. It I left it on in the first couple episodes, but it's getting you know claimed on YouTube. So if you want to get the full experience of the game, if you really want to get that this heart-pounding feeling of like actually high-risk hacking. I highly, highly recommend Hacknet. I mean, if you've just watched my entire playthrough, you're going to know how to do a lot of stuff. But there are a good number of things that I never actually went and finished up. Um, there's a couple of contracts in CSEC. You, um, oh, I forget what the other organization is. The first one you join, uh, it slipped my mind. It, it'll come to me eventually. Uh, there's a bunch of contracts in there I skipped. There's that one hacker at the beginning who like crashed my system and deleted my um, X server file um, that I, I'm betting once I had some better tools, I could go back and own that little jerk. Oh gosh, excuse me. So yeah, there's there's lots of fun stuff that could be left left in there to do. Um, and yeah, I, I would look super forward to seeing, you know, what else comes from these guys. I, if there's any kind of a sequel or I mean, Dear Lord, if there was some multiplayer version, that would be astounding. So with that, as they says on the screen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series, Hacknet. Uh, highly recommend it. It's out on Steam now. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And apparently we're not quite over yet. I got an email from Matt Trabiani, titled The End. Oh, cool. Congratulations, you've just completed Hacknet. This started as a side project in a 48-hour game jam between friends. And people liked it so much that I worked on it casually for a while to produce a prototype version in 2012. The response was amazing. And though I ended that version with an email saying I was stopping working on the game for other projects, I couldn't stay away. I kept working on it and pretty quietly... 
on it pretty quietly behind the scenes and eventually, two and a half years later, it became what you just finished. Thanks for playing. If you liked the game or didn't, send me an email at matt at hacknetos.com and let me know what you think. Suggestions welcome. If you're interested in following more stuff I make or want to bug me to work more on this or things like it, you can follow me on Twitter as Oran. Thanks, Matt. Oh, P.S. The Lynx computer has a few secrets from the game on it. Take a look. Credit server. Boom. Oh, it's like linked from everywhere. Huh. How did that not turn up before? Music changer. All right. Cool. Um, do I have to hack it? Okay, wow, that music change really totally locked up everything. Um, so it looks like I do have to hack this. Oh, no, I don't. I just have to port hack it. But even so, <laughs> Blizzard updater, <laughs> nice. Um, I'm going to cut this off here. I'm not going to spoil the last few little surprises that might be in here. In case you want to come through and poke at it yourself, hack some extra computers. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you in the next video.